Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you a practice technique that I use with my students a lot. This is called something I call the active finger tongue relationship. Sometimes on the bassoon we have two notes right next to each other in a scale that are drastically different fingerings. So for this video I'm going to use the example of half hold G on the top of the staff to A above it which uses the vent key. So knowing that we have a half hole on one note and a vent key and no half hole on the other note will kind of set us up to understanding the change between the two notes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a metronome at quarter note equals 70, nice slow tempo, and we're gonna play quarter notes on one and two, one, two, right? Now, we're also gonna be thinking about the ands. On the ands in between the notes, we're going to be changing our fingering. So if we think about it, G, fingering change, A, fingering change, G, fingering change, A, fingering change, right? Okay, let's try it. Now in between those notes, I was actively thinking about every single finger that I have to move and trying to get them all to move at the exact same time on the end of the end of the end of one and two, right? Now let's switch to a higher octave. Let's try it with high half hold G and A. Same thing. we go. So something to think about here is that when we play legato, this tonguing technique doesn't work anymore, right? We don't have time to switch our fingering between legato notes if we're playing long and connected notes. That is where we bring that fingering technique of changing the precision and being precise and changing our fingers all at the same time to make sure that we're getting a really clean transition between the two notes. So let's try now slurring the two notes back and forth and really focusing on making sure that we are thinking actively about the change between the two notes. All right, try it with the lower octave. There we go. So really make sure that you're thinking about precision with changing the fingerings all at the same exact same time and using that finger active finger tongue relationship will really help you solidify the changes that you need to think about in your mind, think about and anticipate those fingerings before you need to use them. Hope that helps you with your practice. 